I'm Max Jury, and this is Quickfire Questions with Spindle Magazine. Favorite place to unwind? This is an interesting question because I feel like I'm really bad at unwinding. Like, I could never... I'm just so bad at going on vacation or holiday. I am just like sit on the beach, and I would just be like, what kind of admin stuff could I be doing? What emails could I be sending? So I'm a bad unwinder, but if I had to pick a place, I... There's this place in Minnesota, kind of just north of where I grew up, and it's like on the Canadian-Minnesota border. It's called Lutzen. It's like log cabins and by the Great Lakes. It's very, very beautiful. That's a nice place to unwind. Favorite place you've traveled? Hmm. I've got a couple favorite places. Although I'm not entirely sure why they're my favorite. I really love Edinburgh um, in Scotland. I've always had like fun shows there. Always had a nice time. It's beautiful. And I also like Cologne, Germany. There's like that big cathedral. And I've also always had nice shows there. So those are kind of two random places that have always been very kind to me and I think are quite pretty. Musical inspiration. I have, I just, I mean, I listen to, I try to listen to everything. I'm kind of a, a music guy and, and a crate digger and I just, you know, I try to spread my, my interests as wide as possible. So, um, you know, it could be anything from, you know, Bob Dylan, you know, um, to re recently I've been really into the Solange album. Um, you know, I always really love D'Angelo, Marvin Curtis, um, Neil Young. Joni Mitchell's one of my favorites. I think she's the best. Goals for the next year. I don't know. I haven't set any goals for the next year, really. I mean, I have like tiny goals, you know, well, I mean, it'd be nice to get my life together, first of all, that would be a nice goal. But second of all, you know, I hope the, I hope the upcoming record does well, you know, I hope I can continue to tour for the next several years and I uh, can just, uh, you know, keep on not having a real job. Most looking forward to in 2019. Okay, what am I looking forward to in 2019? Well, you know, I do have an album coming out, you know, June 14th. <coughs> um, also, it's going to be nice to, like, caucus for somebody in the States that's not Donald Trump. And that'll be positive, you know, that it'll be nice to kind of band together and, and figure that out. I'm looking forward to getting him out. That's more 2020, but, you know, the seed is, is, is planted in 2019. Um... Yeah, that's, that's really it. Just the album, mostly. One thing you can't live without. I don't know. You know, this is... This is a really stupid answer, but I drink a lot of Diet Coke. And I think I'm addicted to Diet Coke. And I really like them to, you know sponsor me in some way if it's possible. So if Diet Coke's watching, you know, love to do some synergy type activities. Favorite part about performing live? I love performing live. I mean, that's how I started playing music, you know? I, I started in bands when I was a teenager playing in different bands, not necessarily my own material just playing piano for bands, so um, I love playing live. It feels like the most kind of tangible way to, to, to make, yeah, fans and connect with, make, make new fans and connect with old fans. And, you know, it's like you put a song in on the internet and there's just, there's so much that can kind of get lost in translation, you know, from the Spotify page to, to, their, to their headphones. So live, it's like, here it is, you get it. And I feel like it's, e it's easier to sell it almost live um, if they're a willing and, and participating audience. So it is my favorite part about the old biz. Favorite album of all time. Again, lots of favorite albums, but there are several I always come back to. 
Um, Van Morris and Astral Weeks is just a great record. I think I can listen to it all the way through. I almost have to listen to it all the way through. Um, Hissing of Summer Lawns by Joni Mitchell is something that I... It hasn't always been my favorite album of all time, but I've recently really, really gotten into it. It's just kind of Joni Mitchell in general. Um, yeah, those are probably the two that get the most spins at my place. What are you doing when not making music? Um, all kinds of stuff. I like to go to the movies. We have a film buff. Just saw Us. Very nice, very nice. Um, like to read, um, as much as the next guy, reading some essays by Zadie Smith, I think that's the right name, yeah, um, right now, which is really, really interesting, I'm into that, and I like to play basketball, um, and that, you know, that was my dream, really, this, the music is the backup plan, but, um, I'm 5'7", and it just wasn't gonna happen, you know, so here we are. Describe your personality in three words. I'm pretty sarcastic in general. Uh, I feel like I'm friendly, if that works. I try to be friendly, keep an open mind. And, yeah. Um, I the third, uh, dangerous. I don't know. It's